Don't know what the Reich are up to, I don't have any decryption whatsoever. The Republicans still not able to stamp out the last of the Nationalists. They must be getting a lot of support from the Germans. Alright, light tank 2 done, medium tank will be done in 190 days, and then that'll be our new tank. So, worth wondering why I'm going for medium tank over the light tank. Uh, it's got the same defense going on, but that armor, 60 compared to 15, oof. It's not even that much extra production cost for it. Twice the piercing, okay the speed is a little lower, but it's still faster. Twice as fast as anybody walking around. And, yeah, just hard to argue with it. So much more hard attack. A pinch more soft attack. I am having those tanks. So, I want to check my logistics on support equipment. I have a fair chunk of it here, but honestly I would like more. We're still upgrading to weapons too, which is fine. The motorized I will have a use for, trust me. Somehow, somewhere, I will find a use for it. Really though, I probably should have trained some of these instead of anything else, but I don't have the vehicles available. Low on manpower, free stuff here, but I got nothing to trade away. Could always build some more multi factories, because heavens knows I'm going to need them. Oh, and of course, I'm going to take all my fighters and get them into position. All of them. Even though they're not that great, the air superiority will help in battle. Unfortunately, these guys cannot do close air support, which would really help me out in those battles, but... So where are you going to be fighting? Amazons? Please provide air superiority. The enemy... They actually have a fair number of planes, but I reckon, even though our fighters are old and crappy, they will be superior. Is hard attack all that useful against infantry, Jake? A good question. We can check that by comparing our own... Here we go. So, hard attack taken 0%. Not all that useful against infantry. So, no. But that's why our divisions are not going to be entirely made of tanks. I do need the army experience to work on that, which is why I really wish I had a military theorist. Good thing I do. Oh my, okay, it's all going off in Europe now then. The Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact is down, so Germany and Soviet Union going, yeah, we can divide Poland, right? No problem. Absolutely, Italy has now joined the Axis, and France has banned communism. Hmm. Maybe Republican Spain can ban communism, then they'll go somewhere. Ideological fanaticism. That'll allow us to create our own faction. I don't know who I will make uh, join my faction. Maybe Bolivia would be interested in that, or maybe they absolutely would not. I might uh, make a little puppet out of somebody and then have them join my faction. The question is, who in South America do we like so much that we want to have them as our special little faction puppet? Really, if anybody, I should have made it uh, Ecuador and just given them the island here. But it gives me one precious factory. Are you playing with historical focus? Yes, I am. Of course, uh, Japan has decided to go on a bender and take on the United States of America. We'll see how well that works out for them. I wonder why. It could be because I have ahistorically been kicking world tension up the bum. Okay, I wanted you guys over here, right? Yeah. He knows what he's doing. These guys are so well trained. We have uh, veterans, seasoned regulars, nobody below regular except our one trained individual here. Sucks to be him. Make our way into these mountains. And finally I've got that 2% bonus. Could get a bit more. Getting some decryption does help with a lot of things, but what is also helpful is having decent uh, units. Mountaineers are tempting. Trust me, they are tempting. Extra movement, attack, and defense in mountains and hills. And they will get only better when we give them these. More soft attack, more organization, even more organization. But like I said, I'm going to be straying away from that in general. I think I'm going to need artillery if I want support artillery, right? 
Right. Hmm. I need to think about that one. In the meantime, though, it's always good to get more. Looking at what I produce here, I'm hitting the production efficiency cap for my weapons and my fighter at that point, but 20% flat is probably better than getting a bit more of that, so factory output goes up. It's a more concentrated industry. Ciao, Dennis. Good night. Fun and interesting, you say. Fascinating. Alright, all my units here are almost done. How many do I even have here? It's quite a lot, right? So, we're going to tell them, everybody... Again, I can only stick them over here, but... Stick them I shall. Boom. Get rid of all that. Oh, 24. How extremely convenient. You guys are now under George Mia. And... Not all that sure where to put you. How are we doing for supply here? We're doing great for supply. And it just gives me another area to push with. Or push from. The enemy could fight me here. I might even double up on the defenses I have. Hmm. Or what I could do is upgrade you. I know you're a jungle rat. Actually, that's kind of handy for all these jungles that we have. But I think I will upgrade you just so you can have loads of units fighting under you. So I'm going to promote Jose Francisco Caral here. He's going to go to level 3, so he drops a level and loses all of his traits, but he is now able to lead all of these guys. So I'm going to have the whole lot of you assigned to this defense and this offense. So you're going to be the ones right here, led by Jose, my elite core, who will push through here, because I'm confident the enemy have not been training at least not the same way we have. Oh, the temptation is to save the game since we're coming to these vital points, but now nah, we're going to roll it. A new 24 man naval invasion to let Jose Francisco Carral completely fail with. Not this time. So our units will get their org, and I'll let them entrench, but I'm not too concerned about the planning bonus since they're not exactly going on the offense here. Uh, this isn't so hot though. You guys apparently are taking attrition. Oh, maybe it's just because you're moving around. Get into position, lads. It's more like it. And some of you are really good. Probably should have switched out for this Rance style. When would Rance style ever do me wrong? Uh, should have paid attention to that. You have a number of ships that I can't really deal with at the moment. So let's get you guys back to port. Oh. China is on the rampage now. Menguoko. Menguo. Ah, forget it. Point is, it's not going so well for Japan against China. What a shame for them. Meanwhile, good guy Germany is just sitting back. It's like, yeah, you know, I said... I said I'd just take the sedate and land, but I mean, then they just asked us to take over, and I mean, Austria wanted to be part of me, and Memel was always German, I wonder what they're going to do for Danzig or war. Politely ask for it, and probably be given it, because, well, polls. Use planning on the elite force, maybe, though. Hmm, there is a point that could be made for actually having them get a bit of a planning bonus and help out. Or I could just... Bum rush. Okay, we've got some extra of this coming in. What do I need more of? Don't think it's support equipment, really. I want more guns. Really, I should be uh, getting more guns faster since those are going to immediately help me. Whereas, for example, if I were to edit you guys to include support artillery, which really, maybe I should. Supply, org. Hmm. Nah, not seeing it. I don't have any artillery to be giving them anyway. Ah, hell, let's just do it. What's the worst that could happen? Jake, produce light tanks. Jake, planes. I already assigned my planes, but I will double check just to be sure. They're all over in the Amazon. Oh, 
Okay. Did I stick them in the Amazon? Where, in fact, I should not have. I am pretty blind, but it looks to me like this is the Amazon. And, okay, I stuck them in the wrong place, which is pretty poor. Let's get them over in... Uh, Okay, they've got my orders to actually fight in the correct area this time. Then again, there might be more fighting in the Amazon, but I want uh, my incredible pushing force to make it. Jake, if you start out non-aligned and go communist, could you then switch to fascist, or is it locked somehow? It's not locked, you could certainly do that. Your motorization effort is too little and far too late. It's time for you to die. We need to get past this river. Preferably circle them, since they have no source of supply here. If I can cut off all the northern uh, units here, they're in for a bad time. But that does require me to push through here. Might not be all that easy, but we are good. We're considerably better than them, at least. Stacking penalty hurting me just a little bit. Okay, the Reich are going for it. They think now is the right time. And I would actually quite like to watch Poland melt, but I have my own war to worry about here. Okay, because of me bumping up the world tension so much, Poland has been able to join the Allies, which means Germany is about to find themselves in a big war. A very big war. Not convinced that they will completely win this, since if everybody had actually joined in from the start, Maybe things wouldn't have gone the way they did, but they did. There's no way they can win this. They know they're delaying me. I can't... Well, I don't want them to be reinforcing this more. I'm confident that we'll be able to hold out fine here. I mean, our, uh, our entrenchment means they are not going to be dealing anything, even with their vastly superior combat width. And they are attacking us in multiple directions, which is hurting us a wee touch, but I'm still confident we have this. Really, I'm the one that should be attacking this guy to keep him out of my hair. Get away from me and allow me to advance. Ideological fanaticism is ours. We can start our own uh, faction. And if we do, we'll be able to get that tech sharing going on. The sad thing is, I don't think anybody really wants to join our faction. We're a bit of an asshole. Not even Cuba. Now, I could very swiftly join someone else's faction, but uh, then I would have to leave. And, uh... No, we're going to be friendless unless we find... Oh, well, Japan. I could create a faction with Japan, but then that would invite me into a war with the United States. That doesn't sound like a very clever thing to do at this point. Armament, construction... No. Doctrine effort. How are we doing on our doctrines? We're not at all. Alright, that needs to change. We need these tanks that we might someday eventually have to be pretty good. Jake, could you buddy up with the United States? El Salvador must be democratic to be in a faction with the US. Not giving in to fascist pressure, eh? Sounds like give me a coup to me. Yeah, not likely. Alright, so we can now push. Push, push, push. Uh, you guys are just there to delay these individuals. This is a little unfortunate. This battle could go south in many ways. It's a big province kind of blocking us. But the thing is, even though these are mountains, I think we should be able to make a reasonable bit of it. Well, we'll see how well that goes. I still want to try and push through here. Stacking penalty hurting us. Ah. This terrain is nasty. But we must persevere. We're certainly better than them. Looks like they are melting in the face of our superior weapons. At the very least, they can't attack back with much. Not that we have astounding... Uh, defenses or anything. But we are under excellent leadership. So we just need to plow on through. We need to break on through to the other side. 
Yes, break on through to the other side. Soon we'll be a jungle rat, which is useful from all the jungle fighting that's going on here. Bit risky of me not to defend my capital with anybody, but I'm large enough with enough victory points that that shouldn't hurt too sh too badly here. All right. We continue to plow our way through, and like I said, I just need to cut these guys off. And I will be cutting these guys off. My guys are redeploying to try and... Uh, try and hold this. I'm holding it extremely thinly, but we're working on it. Now, the whole point of view is just to keep them engaged, but the fact that you're winning really encourages me. So, we're going to get through here. If I just manage to grab that, I'll be a happy bunny. And we'll leave the babbies behind. I know it takes you a while. I know these mountains are uh, horrible. But come on, Cortez could manage it. You can as well. What in the world was that? Jake, make sure not to get cut off yourself. Yeah, that's why I'm leaving uh, a little bitty behind. And this, let's see. These are two different provinces that I'm going to have to swing around into. But better believe I'll try it. I'll probably discover Lima here. They may try to engage me. But if I pocket these guys off, they're going to be having a hard time. I wonder just how much. Local 6. Most of what they get is incoming. We'll see how well that goes for them. Because I'll be cutting off their incoming. Jake, I was just reading some of the features of this game. It looks great. However, why does it say that there will be cross-platform playing when it's only for Windows and Linux? Is that not cross-platform enough? I don't have the answer to that, but uh, perhaps during a big old stream that uh, may or may not be happening, you can pose those questions to the relevant personnel. Okay, so we got our field hospitals. I want those immediately. Mm-mm, finally get some trickle back. However, it does require motorized and support equipment that I'm not cons convinced that I actually have. Let me check on that, I need to check my logistics here. I got 600 motorized, 600 support, so that's not gonna... F that's not gonna be good enough for many. I mean, I could have this for my superior ones that push on through. So, I'm going to keep that in mind. I'm going to duplicate you. I'm going to call you the, the Elite, because I suck at this. I'm actually giving them the Elite banner, and there you go. You do get the field hospitals. But, then again, what's the point in doing this? I'm not about to switch these guys out during a war, so I'll worry about that later. Alright, we're going to plow on through here. If I can make my way to Lima, I'm going to push that advantage like nobody's business. I might be able to. Especially if this is what they're going to do. Alright, pocketing is one thing, but securing the capital. Well, as a wise man once said, why not both? They're going to murder their orb trying to kill me here. Alright, uh, let's hold you where you are. Look at this fool. We're even breaking him. He attacked, we counter-attacked. So, take the capital. I want it. And make your way here, and of course, leave one sorry sausage behind to defend that. As long as we hold these mountains, we are invincible. Plow your way through, break on through to the other side. Manila. Yes, because I know where Manila is. Alright, interesting. So the Philippines were the puppet of the US, and Japan, who have now joined the Axis. Oh, oh heavens to Betsy. China is making the counterattackable counterattacks. Didn't go so well for them initially, like National Spain, but unlike National Spain, there's the counterattack going on. Good night, Poland. Alright, the capital is ours. They are not going to last at this rate. 
It's better for me to hold what gives me better river advantage. Okay, well, I'll just take that. That cuts off so many of their units. But it's important for me not to get cut off myself, so you guys stop engaging those guys in silly warfare. Cut that off, and their capital is now moved. But they are very close to surrendering anyway. Do they have any cities at all? Well, this was a city. It's worth taking. I want those, but they're a wee bit away. I want doctrine, but soon I'll have researched a... Uh, relevant technology, so I'll take this whilst I'm waiting, and I will always be happy to take more convoys. Who made the soundtrack? Andreas Waltoft. I'm sure you're all very familiar with the man. He's truly a musical genius. Okay, I don't like the way that they're actually reinforcing here, so shouldn't be a river crossing penalty. It is. Well, poo. Okay, that looks like attrition to me. That all looks like attrition to me. I just need to keep them cut off. Sadly, though, looks like they're reinforcing here despite my best efforts. Alright, because they're coming down from here as well. Well, and you guys are redeploying, which is a shame for me. Hmm, alright, because they can reinforce from here and indeed are reinforcing. It's the only thing keeping them alive. Attacking into here is no good. Well, I have everyone I need taking care of this. So why don't we break on through this way? I know I'm attacking into mountains, but I am superior. Jake, who exactly are the Reich at war with? Uh, Poland, France, United Kingdom. And all of the United Kingdom's little, uh, little friends. Can't believe this uh, war still going on in Iberia. And Soviet Union is just chilling. That's the joke. I mean, Germany is the one risking all to take over Poland. But because of the pact, um, it'll just be forked over to the, uh, the Reds. Peru. I don't need to occupy much to get you out of this, but I do need to occupy some. And they are getting starved out. I can see it. I can see it. Unfortunately, they continue to back this up, and this river crossing hurts. What also hurts is that I'm not using quite enough units to attack with. Really, I could just attack with everything I have, try to force them out. Jake, can the Allies declare on you? Why would they? I mean, they could fabricate and declare, but really, why? What would they gain? For the same reason, I'm attacking everything that moves. The world tension is at 100%, even the US of A can be doing more or less what they want. They're doing unknown focuses. Hopefully they're not going down their Pax Americana, which will allow them to intervene in certain wars. Because then I'll be in trouble. But Alright, excellent maintenance. Those tanks that I might theoretically have someday are going to kick ass. Still want some engineers. I also want these. There's a lot of things that I want. But i got to focus on making those tanks decent. These two are good support battalions for them. Recon and engineering would both be excellent to add to them, just to make them all that much better. Probably go with engineers. Aye, they do help quite a bit with many things. Alright, we are pushing and pushing. Shouldn't be too hard to make our way through here. There's no... Uh, oh, there's always a river in the way. This is... This is America. They're free to have all the rivers they want. But maybe I'm pursuing this the wrong way. Let's try taking the final point. Don't know how they're doing for numbers. Yeah, again, they're trying to pull everything they can out. Service by requirement, as we saw before. But I think it's going to go pretty well, so we're going to start fabricating our claim on the Bolivians, who are improving their relations with uh, Republican Spain. Good luck on that. 
Jake, are the planes doing something? That depends on where we're looking at. They aren't really going to help out over in this area when the fighting is happening in the Amazon. So I will tell them to go to the Amazon. Intercept. Oh, Kamikaze Strike. Well, I would love to do that. But I won't because it's going to cost lives that I do not have to offer. So there we go. Now we have the enemy. We have the air superiority. And the Amazons at the very least. You guys are going to make your way through. Uh, it would help. If I actually kept everything nice and defended. The attrition is horrible. The toll on lives also horrible. But we must win. They're not getting... Because I haven't cut them off completely. They're still able to get supply. Which is a shame for me. Again, let's try and not lose the ground we gain. And if I can make my way to Arequipa, the war is ours. Speed up and enjoy the view from Warsaw. Now, I've got to hand it to the Germans. They're holding out pretty well, because taking on Poland and France at the same time, it's not all that easy, but they're doing it. Germany is very, very powerful, though. Not much left in nationalist Spain. Speaking of not much left, you had your chance to defend this. Now it's mine. You lose Peru. San Salvador starts out as fascist. One of the few, uh, I think the only Central American, and one of the few Americans who start out fascist, which works to my advantage. And if there's an advantage, I will take it. Much like I take Peru. And their equipment. Thank you kindly. What did you have for me? Did I hear extra fighters? Well, a few. Some support equipment. I've, I've probably been making these. I doubt that was theirs. And it's even more of their horrible, basic, crappy equipment to give to me. But there we go. Now we fabricate on Bolivia. And how are we doing towards that? We're only 16 of the 125 on the way. Good night, Peru. How, ma how powerful is Mexico and how powerful is Brazil? I've not been eyeing up Brazil. Oh, Brazil is actually a paper tiger there. Not even then. I just assumed because they were big I would have trouble with them. But I think I would rather surround them so that I can have my pickings on what I want to take here. How are they for resources as well? Ooh, rubber. I want rubber so I can actually get more, uh, more everything. I also want the steel. I just want everything. Is it too bad to want everything? Well, unfortunately, what I want right now is some sleep, because I do have work in the morning. El Salvador's uh, rampage will continue. It'll likely continue tomorrow after work, since i got a whole load of streaming to be doing. So, yeah, I'm back. How does manpower double? I mean, double of 16k isn't much, but new law or something. It's all the new land I'm taking over, because, face it, I take over new land, and even though it's 98% reduced due to non-core state, I'm still pressing a fair chunk out of it, and Middle Tourism and Military Youth helping out a fair chunk there as well. So this has been Hearts of Iron 4, a preview stream. We are far from done. I wish to unite the new world as El Salvador, since I don't like colonizing. So, um, like I said, be back with that tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed, but don't really care if you didn't. Hearts of Iron 4 will be out on Monday, and I may or may not be doing a uh, big old stream about it then live from Paradox HQ. Ah, <sighs> wonder if I can plug anything else whilst we're going here. Nah, it's getting late and I'll get silly. Cheers for joining. I'll be back later. And good night.